Hey guys, you're back for another video. In today's video, um, I'm going to be doing another app review. And so today's app review is going to be a app for note taking, just a little differently, and it's called Bear. So let's go and get started. <laughs> As you guys know, my series Shadow Wall Comeback Season has just ended, and I was announcing this a long time back that I did want to um have like a new aspect on my channel, and I really wanted to get into productivity more. Um, as you can also see, the first trailer of Productivity Power came out. It's a new original series that's going to air on my channel. Um, the final date has not been decided. But I'm assuming it's going to be around August or October. Um, so it's coming hopefully soon. I'm it's still in the making, but I did get the first teaser-ish thing out. Um, yeah, I'm going to consider it as a teaser. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, let's go and start just a productivity episode. Or not an episode, but like a video. Um, I've also, no more extra videos are coming except for promos. So that's one of the other changes is every week you'll see one video on Saturday at 1 p.m. Uh, I think it's more professional to have a time than for random videos to come. Um, right now it's one time a week. Um, another thing is my podcasts are back on coming. And you guys can see they come every Fridays. So at some time in the night for EST. But they come that time. Um and yeah but you also guys should go ahead and you guys should like do something cool right now give me a minute <laughs> okay so you guys also know or if you do know we have or i mean i have <laughs> a instagram account um which is basically for school tastic and but I made this two, three days ago. You can see on the screen right now. Um, this Instagram account was purposely just for another place. You guys can get find me on at the school tastic on there. Um, I already have 27 followers. Let's go. And there's like um I'm actually more open in that for sure because I show more like real life footage on that um for sure. So you guys can like definitely see uh you know. I don't know why I put 37. Look, at that was a typo. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm looking after my phone. That's supposed to be 27, I'm pretty sure. I'm not... I don't... I think it was supposed to be 20 even. Um, but, you know, it's great. There's a lot of things already. This was actually one of the real-life pictures right there. I have took it, taken, excuse me. Um, and you can just, you know, see all that. But it's really nice. Um, and you will see me post a lot on there. You know, I look at everyone's feed, too. So if you guys do want to follow, just, you know, check uh, me on that. <laughs> um, oh, well, um, that's for something else. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and um, further ado, I think we should go and get started. So the Bear app is um, pretty much, it's available across all devices. I'm not 100% sure about Mac. Um, I'm not sure if Mac carries this but i might but you can see right on the screen that's my phone side so it works with the phone too and they do sync um there is also a pro version but like i said this is my first time using it so it's kind of my reaction more than you know anything else um so let's just go and get started i'm kind of excited to try this out um so it says new note Okay, so the setup in general kind of looks more like um, a Microsoft setup. Um, I've used OneNote before, and it kind of looks something similar like the Not really, but somewhat um, similar. So it looks like you can type notes. I think that's the main point is to type notes. And be like, hi, this is school tastic <laughs> testic Um... Just put a little smiley face, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it also looks like there is a doodle feature. Mm -hmm. Okay. Especially for those artists out there. And you can add. Um, but this acts like a picture. That's what I did. That. Okay. And then there's also, like, highlights. So you can put something between these two highlights and be like, wait. Oh, uh, like, 
like, you know, hi or something, and then highlight it, or, you know, you know what the thing is, right? Um, one thing I don't like about this already is that when you're, like, gonna write notes, like, hello or something, and I'm not, I don't have my style, so let me get that, actually. I'm gonna, like, write hello, Ugh. hello, like, you know. This, I first of all don't like the like writing style in general, just not my thing. But it looks like you can change color too and just, you know, have all different colors. But let me be honest, I just don't like how screechy the look is. Um, it just doesn't work for me for some reason. Like you can also highlight. The highlight also kind of looks like a marker. No offense. Uh, but then when you put it on the paper, it's kind of like a picture. That's not even clear either, which kind of gets even more... It sucks more because it's not even clear in the view and it's more like a picture not like a paper that you wrote things on so that gets me really annoyed already again this is my honest opinion on it so no hate towards the company bear they probably did an excellent job and it's really convenient for some people for me as such as me taking notes it's just not that convenient um but let's go look at more of the features um so it looks like there's basic features you have oh we can scroll there's like indent um going up and down indenting um there's other things just like little text boxes there's like one twos and you know bullet points and then lines like i think a lot of people like those like lines i think <laughs> um um oh chick-fil-a okay <laughs> um so that's nice there's also like the cool effect to be like uh, J, you know, effect, oh, let's do school, fantastic, like, that effect, um, that looks nice, there's, like, I already showed you, the highlighting tool is my other least favorite thing about this, is just how uh, the highlighting just doesn't work, um, but there's also, like, a checkbox, so I like that, it's convenient, but it also goes with notability, um, I, my personal preference is notability, um, they also have a checkbox thing like that, and it's a little more convenient for sure because I definitely like to write things on top of it because I'm usually half of the time I'm not properly, like, you know, I forget things a lot. Um, something good about this, though, is the organization for the, like, this way. So, it's kind of like the setup. Um, you can have organization, so things um the app is for free but there is a pro version so there is an in-app purchase um which in my thing is like fine <laughs> um there's also like themes like you know people with those like you know the theme you want there's like dark graphite light graphite high graphite things like that um with all that as well and then there's a lot of pro features that you do have to buy the pro. And one thing that gets me super annoyed is when you get the app for free and then there's like pro features. So I'd rather pay for the app. Um, the notability is $8. And I think for this pro cost. Okay. So a monthly subscription is only $1. Whoa. Cam, okay, this is cheap. And for the yearly subscription, it is for $14.99. Um, still, Notability is a better deal in this case because if you do do a yearly subscription, $15 every year you're going to pay towards, and Notability is just $8 one-time purchase. Um, if you go. And then it also has those advanced exports to PDF and HTML, RTF, and docs uh gpg or g jpg excuse me that also is built with notability um it's actually a little more convenient because the exporting time doesn't take as long with that is because it starts rendering and exporting kind of from the back um and it does it does work with google drive so that your notes get saved and synced to that it also have application themes which same with notability it also does have application themes and i don't know why i'm just comparing this with notability but you know it's a good reference in my opinion um and so it has like themes like colors and then sync notes between all your devices that's the only thing well i guess kind of notability syncing process through devices isn't the best um and i definitely don't know how syncing works with this yet because i haven't made any i'm not sure if there's supposed to be like an account um yeah but i i have i'm in and um you know my phone doesn't have those notes so there is a little syncing probably um thing it just might be the feature in general it's not a little developed yet uh, but i hope it looks good overall the um view for sure is really nice um, and then options, there is the sync, 
they have a lot of um, versions and like things and you can see and there's like folders same kind of with the notability look they also have like folders if you guys know what I'm talking about um overall I think bear is just the app in general is really well developed and it's such a good app and let me tell you oh I haven't I don't think I have my sync on oh that's probably why um but I think this could develop more and I think they should go for the app to be costed not the subscriptions because i'm a person more fan of apps are costed because they're more of one time thing but i can see where they're coming from for sure um uh i think that's pretty much all i have to say about this app i think it's just that i haven't used this at all and i just downloaded it like today and i just got like you know the um, the like the top seeds of it and i haven't really digged into it and explored it as much um so if you guys do want me to have a updated video on this i will be trying it out for like a week or so and if you guys do want an updated video please leave it in the comments down below but i think that's end of this um productivity video um anyways i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and we'll go ahead and see you guys next saturday uh at 1 p.m bye guys